Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Ty Learn, and today we are going to be doing What If Miguel Broke Robbie's Arm. Now, we are going to be covering a pretty dark what if, in my opinion, or seemingly dark what if, and honestly, a lot of things could happen. This what if, regardless of what you're going to say, will obviously change season 3 drastically, but how? When Miguel falls to the dark side, can he be redeemed after this? Well, let's find out now. With that being said, if you guys want more Cobra Kai videos, let me know down below, and be sure to subscribe if you are new and hit the bell icon so you're updated when I upload. Now with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to transition into the video, and again, I hope you guys do enjoy and have a nice rest of the day. Alright, so we start our story off in the heated battle between Robbie and Miguel in the school fight. Robbie goes on to get the jump on Miguel until he goes on to press Robbie once more and has Robbie pinned down to the ground. He would remember the words of Johnny Lawrence, but also remembers what Tori said in this timeline and how we have to fight for what's ours. Miguel in this version of events would remember what Tori said and also remember the philosophy that not only Tori reminded him of, but also what Kreese was teaching him of when Johnny was gone from Gober Kai. Not to mention Miguel did cheat on Robbie's girl, so it seems like Robbie's not going to show any mercy, so why should Miguel? All these thoughts are just coming into Miguel's head, and I think in this timeline, Miguel would just be hesitant and would need to make a quick decision, and reluctantly, he decides in this timeline to then snap Robbie's arm. At that point, Sam seeing this and Robbie screaming in pain, Sam would just scream out to Robbie and immediately rush to him and push Miguel off of him. Sam quickly goes to make sure Robbie's alright and looks at Miguel in horror and, and fear. Miguel realizes he messed up. He thought he was fighting for what's his. He's got everything messed up and honestly just made the whole situation worse. Him being just overwhelmed with regret would rush off and immediately go to where he believes is the best place to go right now. We then cut to Johnny putting up his TV and looking at his phone and immediately when he puts his phone away, we get Miguel barging into Johnny Lawrence's house. Miguel would be talking all over the place apologizing to Johnny and telling him that he didn't mean to do anything and Johnny would just sit Miguel down and tell him to relax and after he calms him down he would tell Miguel to just explain everything and Miguel after admitting what happened at the party and then going over what happened at the school fight Johnny has a clear face of disappointment and guilt However, I feel like the reaction that Johnny's going to give off is going to be different than what Daniel would do to Robbie and like similar to what he did to season two, episode nine, when he just kicked him out of Miyagi-Do for bringing Sam to Johnny Lawrence's house. Or I guess in shorter terms, Miguel wouldn't be getting lashed out at by Johnny. I think Johnny would be barely managing to hold his anger down just enough to try and get to Miguel because he knows that this isn't Miguel and this isn't what Miguel would have done. This is all mainly Kreese is doing and he's trying to tell himself that and remaining composure before, you know, he snaps. And I think he would barely manage to keep it under control just for now. Johnny would tell Miguel that this isn't what he taught him. He would go on to say how this is all because of Kreese and him getting into Miguel's head and he did this to Johnny before along with the whole other generation of Cobra Kai who just manipulate Miguel into a soldier. Johnny would say how he's not going to let that happen to Miguel, especially Miguel, his number one student, his best student. And Johnny understands that Miguel even regrets this decision. And Johnny would tell Miguel, you know, after making this decision, you know, does it feel good? And Miguel would say no. All this no mercy talk and all this shit for fighting, it's all just bullshit that Kreese says to just get in Miguel's head. And it's not even just with Miguel, it's with the other kids of Cobra Kai and this happened beforehand. This wasn't just with Johnny, this was with his other friends like Bobby and Tommy and Dutch. That's not what Johnny's Cobra Kai is about and it's not about starting fights. Miguel knows this and was clearly conflicted throughout season 2, but this time I think because of this combo with Johnny, Miguel regrets what he did. I mean, he still even regrets regardless of having this combo with Johnny and was clearly conflicted. But because of this combo, Miguel is able to go back to the right path and Johnny is just looking out for his best interest and he believes going down this right path or at least a path that Johnny believes is right is the best way for Miguel to go right now. Miguel and Johnny then hug it out and at that point Carmen suddenly knocks on the door thinking it's only Johnny and she sees Miguel there with Johnny and she would then say how she got a call from the school about the situation and immediately pulls Miguel away. I think she would go to the hospital to ensure Miguel would go and apologize to Robbie and make sure Miguel and Robbie just clear off this whole situation because now it's just gotten out of hand with this karate war. Johnny would go to the hospital as well, but Carmen doesn't want to associate with Johnny whatsoever. She and him talked about this and Johnny promised her that Miguel would never go astray. 
and now look what happened. And before meeting Johnny, Miguel was just a nice boy who never picked on fights or never had anything to do with fights, and now he's snapping kids' arms? That's the final straw for Carmen, and Johnny understands as to why Carmen's mad at him. I mean, he made a promise, and he couldn't keep it. He failed her. This would then go on with Robbie, where he would try and apologize to Robbie about what happened, and he's gonna try and make things right, and Robbie would then say how it's funny how Johnny always says that, and it never goes right. And at that point, Robbie would say to Johnny how he never wants to talk to him again. Johnny at that point would just leave the hospital and understanding that he's failed everyone around him. His son, Carmen, Miguel, he's just failed everything in his life. And I think when Daniel goes into the elevator, obviously things are different here. So it's not going to be awkward silence because it's not both of their faults this time. It's mainly Johnny's and when Daniel tries to make that clear and say how he should have never let Crease back into his life, he would then just slam his fist against the elevator and would scare Daniel. At that point, Johnny would just break down saying how he understands it was his fault, but he's gonna try and make things right. He needs to make things right. He's failed everyone around him. Johnny doesn't need Daniel to remind him right now or act like a smart ass. Now is not the time. And at that point, Daniel would just leave the elevator and so would Johnny. And we would then cut to when Chris seemingly betrays Johnny and takes Cobra Kai behind his back. But in this timeline, I don't think it's really going to be possible here. Here's why I think this. For one, Miguel never falls which means Cobra Kai never thinks that Johnny gets soft and they pay the price. Number two, even if Kreese were to let's say try and come back, he wouldn't betray Cobra Kai because they have no reason to betray Johnny and not to mention if he tries to manipulate Miguel, Miguel is put back on the right path by Johnny. It'd just be kind of awkward for Kreese to return because if anything he's just gonna get beat up by Johnny and Kreese is just gonna probably run away again since no one is going to be on his side so we'll just say Kreese is not going to come back in this timeline. I think Johnny would still go out on the beach to go and drink but this time he never throws it directly at his Cobra Kai car. He's drinking because he's failed everything in his life and the only thing that he has left is Cobra Kai. So if anything, this is going to be kind of a completely different narrative that we're gonna be taking from the scene. Instead of this scene just being Johnny at his lowest and giving up everything that he has, this time he's going to use the one thing that he has left in his life and basically move that forward. He's going to use everything that basically gave up on him and use that as motivation to bring back the old Cobra Kai that Johnny Lawrence was making until Kreese came in and showed up, but he's never going to make that same mistake ever again. He lost Robbie, Carmen, and any good hope of being cool with Daniel, not to mention failing Miguel, but that's not going to stop him from trying to redeem himself and push his Cobra Kai into a better direction for the sake of a better future. This is what Johnny's all about, never giving up and rising up. And so now he's going to start from square one and start from the basics. He would never throw his phone, so he would see the notification that pops up on his phone, which is Allie Mills sending him a Facebook friend request. And that is how we conclude season two. Now in season 3, this is the season where we see Cobra Kai kind of acting like how they did back in the 80s. However, in this timeline, that is not going to be happening. If anything, Johnny's just going to be starting from square one and basically changing everything for the whole students because he wants to make sure that they get through their mind that showing mercy is something that they need to do. Now, Miguel here wouldn't be crippled, so he would have the opportunity to go into training earlier and would never be in the hospital, obviously, but Carmen isn't allowing this. However, However, I could see for the next few episodes just be Miguel trying to convince Carmen. Johnny would even step up and tell Carmen that maybe he and her can have their problems, but let Miguel join the dojo at least and let him train. You know, that's the one thing that Miguel wants to do and he wants to redeem himself from what happened. Now, I think the only student to really worry about this is Tori. However, I think Johnny after the school fight would make Tori realize that this no mercy stuff and escalating everything really doesn't help anyone now, does it? Plus, all the other kids in the classroom wouldn't really agree with her, so I think think she's just gonna kind of keep to herself and decide to you know still train with Johnny and follow under his teachings 
I think when Miguel and Tori see each other again, I think it's going to be a little awkward. However, due to Tori just going under Johnny's teachings, she's willing to kind of give this gray area, sometimes show mercy thing a chance. Not to mention Miguel beforehand, of course, would apologize at first to Tori about what had happened in the situation and would explain that Sam was drunk and all that stuff. However, Tori wasn't necessarily mad directly at Miguel and was mainly targeting Sam anyway. And also, as for the landlord situation, we'll say Johnny does something similar to what Kreese does, but we'll just say he punches him and scares him off rather than doing that whole cigarette cutter thing because that was kinda wild. Anyways, obvious changes, some kids in Cobra Kai aren't going to be leaving, and Cobra Kai isn't going to be a group of bullies, and Kyler isn't joining, neither is Brooks, none of that stuff is happening. Also, the prison Robbie stuff isn't happening either, which means no Johnny and Danny team up in this season. And I think after what happened in the school fight, Daniel would allow Robbie back into Miyagi-Do, giving him another chance, and Robbie and Sam would also clear things in the air and tell Robbie that she was drunk and all this other stuff. And I think Robbie and Sam would settle similar to how Miguel and Tori settled down they would still be together now i think hawk would never break dimitri's arm and i think after the school fight and after hawk knowing of no mercy and stuff like that i think maybe he would try and get revenge on dimitri but when he does so i think he realizes what johnny meant and really just showing no mercy isn't a cool thing we can maybe have them have a little brief scrap either in the school or maybe in that carnival area, but this time we'll just have Hawk get Dimitri up and tell Dimitri that maybe they can just stay on good terms for now. Like, because of Johnny pushing his Cobra Kai forward, there's really not that much conflict besides Sam and Tori, which either Tori is going to attack Sam and they just kind of hash it out like how they did, or Tori changes up completely because of Johnny. And obviously Robbie doesn't join Cobra Kai and the roles of Robbie and Miguel are still the same rather than reversed. So Robbie still fights for Miyagi-Do and Miguel's fighting for Cobra Kai and are following a better philosophy and Cobra Kai overall is just a lot better. Now will Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do team up? Potentially yes since Hawk and Dimitri are getting on better terms and if Tori actually listens to Johnny that means Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai could be on good terms. And maybe Robbie and Miguel can have an encounter and maybe they could hash it out and kind of build up this narrative of just season two kind of having Johnny being at his lowest and breaking Johnny down, but season three being the ultimate comeback for Cobra Kai. Now, as for the alley stuff, I think Johnny is still going to get with Carmen because Carmen in this timeline, the only difference is now she's just less mad at Johnny because her kid isn't in the hospital. He just kind of did a bad thing at school. I think they would get over that quick and by the time the whole Ali and Johnny and Daniel meeting at the party thing happens, Johnny and Daniel would finally just come to a mutual agreement and leave things fine. With that being said, yeah, no house fight, no final fight with Kreese, but Daniel still goes to Okinawa if that counts for anything, but that's really all there is to season 3. There's not too much conflict and if anything, it's just a nice real ending to Cobra Kai and there probably won't be a season four to be honest but with that being said ladies and gentlemen I think this is where I'm going to be leaving our story off and if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to give a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and hit the bell icon so you are updated and notified when I upload follow me on Twitter and be sure to share and let me know what other videos you guys want me to do you know it doesn't even have to be Cobra Kai related if you guys want me to still do on some MCU stuff let me know down below along with some Jojo videos and etc my name is Tyler and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video Peace out. Have a nice rest of the day, people.